Are the salient features, uh, if there's one positive we can pick up of the year, was an increase in revenue of 5.5% to 2.1 billion. Um, let me just emphasize, there's no small feat this. Um, ad nauseum, we've, we've always mentioned about the RMR project and uh, that we had this massive project. In the last financial year, we had around about 260 million rands worth of revenue in this project. Um, it was a bit of a feat to, to make up this type of revenue, uh, albeit at a lower margin, but we had to go out, find new business, uh, create market share, try and increase our market share in the different segments that we played in, and so we did make up this, two, uh, this 260 million plus of lost revenue before and increased our revenue by 5.5. The EBITDA was ever uh, down 51.9% to 167 million. A large factor in this was to do with margins, which I'll, I will deal with on each of the, the, the different sectors on the margins. This had a massive knock-on effect all the way through down on our results. Uh, tough economic uh, trading conditions that we did face and at the moment are still there, which we are addressing. The profit after taxation was down 71.5 million. Uh, a lot of this is exaggerated, let's call it, uh, downward slopes. Uh, the RMR, as we, as we mentioned, and we had a look at last year's results, we were sitting with operating profit margins of 19%, which I, I think I did mention a lot of one-on-ones, and that was very unrealistic. Uh, why did we sit with that? It wasn't that, uh, excuse the expression, trying to pull the ring out of Eskom with higher prices, but it was maximizing and, and, and capacity utilization. We ran out that project, which we were very proud of, using existing infrastructure, existing warehousing, existing distribution, existing uh, uh, installer base, and so we are able to maximize our profits on that. When you lose something that sits on top of your existing infrastructure, it seems to hurt you more than it would by losing standard business. Headline earnings, therefore, were down to 23.46 uh, cents. NAV, however, was up by 8% to 3.40. Um, NAV is now greater than the share price at the moment, and even NTAV at 2.53 is quite solid. We still got consistent, consistent growth in Africa. You just got to look at the order book. I think in um, our January figures, we, we spoke of an order book of $200 million plus over the next three years. It's, it's ballooned, it's grown to an uh, order book of 4.1 billion rand. Uh, 